All right. Um, here is in the second episode of how to. Sorry, I had to think about that for a second. This is actually how to invest in um silver, and um, this is three different silver coins. Um, over there is a um 1923 silver dollar coin, 1953 day silver um half dollar, and over here is a 1940 silver mercury dime. And um, I will be talking about how to invest in silver today. And um, I'll be talking about different kinds of silver also. Like right now, silver is, like as of now, February 19th, 2014, silver is on a rise. And um, that's like right now. Um, but <clears throat> it will probably go down, it will eventually go down in value again. So um, right now, do not invest in silver because that's such a high. If you have a lot of silver that you bought for cheap, sell it now. If you like are like a silver investor who like buys and sells quickly, but um, don't buy silver right now because um, it's at such a high. Like eventually, it's gonna go down, and when it's at a really low point, that's when you buy silver. Like let's say a huge pocket of silver is found, and then it loses five dollars in value, let's say per ounce. And right now it's like 24, so to go down to like 19, that's pretty low compared to right now. So, um, and if it continues to steadily drop, now if there's a huge drop and it's going to start going back up, buy it when it's at its huge drop, and then sells it, sell it when it goes back up. But if it's steadily decreasing because it's becoming more and more common for some reason or another, then wait to buy it until it stops, and then until you see it to start to go up. The second it starts to go up, try to buy as much as you can if you're investing in it. Then, um, wait for it to go back up, sell it when it's at its high, and then, um, you, you'll you have a decent profit, and then you can keep on expanding how much money you have from buying it at low and then selling it at high. Really works well. But, um, silver coins, like you see here, are a little bit different, though, because that, um, silver dollar coin is actually worth, like, around 40 at least, 40 or 50 dollars, depends, um, but the melt value is only, like, around 7 but it is it's from 1923, and it has um, it, it has it's really it's in really good condition. Same with the 1953D, um, that is like a 15 or 20 dollar coin, but it's only melt value of four dollars. Um, that's how much silver it has in it, but it's in really good condition, pretty good condition. It's in a case and everything, and even with this um little silver mercury dime over here of 1940, it's pretty old, and. 1940 was, um, you know, a decent time ago now, and um, its melt value would only be a dollar seventy-four, but it's worth closer to five because of its condition and age. So, um, but now, um, sorry about that, but um, now, if, uh, for a different example, pure silver, like a silver bar, is only going to be worth its melt value, unless it's like an old silver bar or something. It's only going to be worth its melt value. That's how much they sell it for. Like an ounce of silver. I know it's in two ounces, but per ounce, it's like twenty-one forty-eight. What was my last time I checked? Which was a few days ago. But um, there was twenty-one forty-eight then. So um, I mean the, that's all it's going to be ever be worth. Same with a gold bar or anything. Now. With coins, you can have ones like these that are worth generally more than their face value, or you can have ones that are worth less than their face value. I'll get into that later, like copper pennies, for example. With the exception of wheat pennies, they um, are worth more than their melt value. But um, just regular copper pennies are only worth their face value, but their melt value is more. But um, back to silver. Um, silver investing is a fun way to get some money, because silver is not really that expensive, you know. Um, so... Um, but, um, so it's a fun way to invest, especially if, like, you don't have that much money, because gold, unless you're a really high-time investor, it's not worth it at all, like, never. So, um, like, um, like, let's say, like, you only have enough money to buy one ounce of gold, uh, it's not really gonna be a good return rate, because the gold only goes up like maybe ten dollars in value at a time and it fluctuates a lot like stocks so um silver is a lot cheaper so you can buy a lot more of it 
um, which hence means that basically in turn you will be getting a larger profit than with gold because a larger quantity equals a larger quality of profit. Um, but that's it for now, so stay tuned for more how-to episodes and other episodes. Bye.